we will be covering all these concepts which you're seeing now. We will see in this video what is a PDF and then we'll quickly see what are the kind of settings you will have to make in your Acrobat before performing any kind of an automation. And then we'll quickly also see what are the kind of PDFs which exist. Native, digital, scan, we'll talk about that. And then at last we will see a quick demo on how to implement PDF automation using UiPath. Now without further delay, let us see what a PDF is. PDF stands for Portable Document Format. And to perform some automations using PDF, there are certain settings you will have to do in your Acrobat. So for that, kindly come to your search bar here, type to search. Come here and say Acrobat and hit on enter. You will be able to see that this interface is popping up. Now, you will have to navigate to preferences guys. Only then we will be able to make the relevant configurations or changes to the settings. So how do you move to preferences? Hit on Control K. So Control K will take you to the preferences page. Now there are certain changes you'll have to make in the settings. So for that, navigate, come here and hit on reading. As you see here guys, Adobe Acrobat by default has this setting which says for large documents, only read the current visible pages. But do you think this is what we want when we automate a PDF? No, right? We want the bot to read all the pages in the document irrespective of how large the document is. So please come here in the drop down. You will find an option which states read the entire document. Kindly select that. And Ensure that you're unchecking this activity which is stating confirm before tagging documents because you don't want to confirm at each and every place when the bot is trying to open or read a PDF, isn't it? So kindly uncheck this and the reading order should always be infer reading order from the document recommended. This is the option which you will have to select. So three things we have to ensure. You have to ensure that you're reading the entire document and you have to ensure that you are unchecking the tagging of documents and then the reading order should always be the recommended one. After you make these settings, please navigate to accessibility and what is that you will have to do here? You have to ensure that the first two options here, use document structure for tab order when no explicit tab order is specified and enable assistive technology support, these both should always be checked. Once you ensure that, please navigate to security enhance and uncheck the enable protected mode startup. So once you try to uncheck, it will prompt you a message box which states do you really want to continue with your decision and yes, I want to continue with my decision. Please come here and hit on OK. Now we are done with the settings which we have to make prior to our automation. Now let us go back to our notepad and see what is the next topic of discussion. Types of PDFs. This is very important. So guys, generally two types of PDFs exist. One is called a native, which you could rather call it as a digital PDF also. And the second type of PDF is a scanned PDF. So what are these? What is a native? What is a scanned PDF? So a native PDF is a PDF of a document that was born digital. Because the PDF was created from an electronic version of a document. So if there is a PDF file which is created electronically, which is system generated one, you could call it a native PDF or you could also address it as a digital PDF. And now what is a scanned PDF? A scanned PDF by contrast is a PDF which you get from a printer of a document. We generally scan things, isn't it? We scan with our mobiles and if you're saving it as a PDF file, that is called a scanned PDF. It is very important to know why, why are we even talking about digital or scanned PDFs because based on the type of document, based on the type of PDF you are using, you will have to select certain activities or play around activities when you are going for PDF automation. That is the reason it is very important to understand the difference between a digital PDF and a scanned PDF. Now, without further delay, let us go to the PDF automation using UiPath. 
Please come to your search. I have my studio installed. Let me type UiPath Studio. And let the studio load. Now, I would want to create a new process. Come here, hit on new process. And it is always important that you give a meaningful name. So what if I give a name just as blank process? It is not going to affect any functionality of the program, guys. But it improves the readability of the user or the developer who is evaluating this workflow. So it is always suggested that you give meaningful names both to your project and the activities you are using within the project. So for now, let us say PDF automation with UiPath. All right. Now, moving on to the description. A description, as you see, the name is mandatory here, but the description is not mandatory, which means you could either give a description or you need not give a description. But let us stick to giving a description because it improves the readability. In this workflow, we are trying to explore pdf automation all right let's hit on create now once you hit on create all the dependencies which are required for this project all the libraries which are required for this project and your workspace will be created okay so as you see what is happening behind loading all the dependencies like i told you uh, how do you see what dependencies are loaded Come here, this will be your interface. Come to the project, you will be able to see that the dependencies, the default dependencies, Excel, mail activities, system activities, all of these are loaded. And this is the activities pane where you will be able to see the activities. And these are the activities you will be using to drag and drop. Now, we do not need a tour, so let us skip it. And I do not want to see this again. Now, let us explore what PDF activities are first of all present in my studio interface. Let me say PDF and you see that under document understanding you are able to see some PDF but you do not have some activities which are pertaining exclusively to PDFs, isn't it? So let us go to manage packages, come to all packages and say PDF. You will be able to see something called uipath.pdf.activities and kindly install that and save it. So what are you doing through this? Once you install the package called uipath.pdf.activities, there are some default functionalities or some operations which you can do on PDF files. And all of those are embedded within this package. And that is the package you are trying to install. Okay, it looks like it's almost installing the package. After the package is installed, guys, now you will be able to see some activities pertaining exclusively to PDFs. And if you come to your project here, under the dependencies, you should be able to find that you have PDF activities also. So whatever are the packages you install will be found under the dependencies. Okay. Now, let us go to the demo. And for this demo, I'm considering a PDF which has both text and image. So if you come here and see, I have a PDF like this which has both text and image. So how do you distinguish what is text, what is image? A text, whenever you're trying to highlight it, you will be able to highlight it line-wise. Or you will be able to highlight what portion of it you need. Okay. But coming to an image, I'm trying to uh, select this, but it is not getting selected, which means it is in some other format and it is not a plain text. Now, let us use this PDF for our demo and see how do we perform the automation. Now, there are basically two activities which will help us here. Okay. The first one 
is read PDF text. So, in case of a PDF which has plain text, which is like this, read PDF text activity will help me extract the text. Okay. And what if my file has some image format also? In that case, UiPath is providing us with an option to read the PDF with OCR. So, what are the activities here? You could see read PDF text and read PDF with an OCR. So, first let us use the read PDF text activity. Okay. And let us locate the PDF. So, my PDF is present in your path PDF automation documents. So, test PDF and this is the PDF file I have. Okay. And read PDF text. Try to rename the activity. Like I told you, renaming is not mandatory. But in case if you want to improve the readability, then you will have to rename the activities. And it is a recommended practice, not a mandatory one. So, let us follow the recommended practices of UiPath as well. So, read PDF text. And what are we trying to do? We are trying to read the sample PDF file. Okay, so now after you read this file, guys, the file is read, the content of the file is read and it is stored in a virtual memory. And if you want to use that, you will have to save it in a variable. And how do you save it in a variable? In the properties, output text, give some meaningful name here. Paste the post. And you have to create a variable for that. How do you create a variable? You'll have to hit on control K which will set you a prompt called set var and you can give your variable name output okay now if you observe once you give the variable name as output here it will automatically reflect in your variables panel and by default uipath will accept any variable as a string variable okay now let us try to print and see what this is giving so, I'm quickly taking in a message box and I'm trying to print this document. So, all of the content is in the variable called output and now I'm trying to print it. Let us quickly run the PDF and see what's happening. Yes. So, as you see in this text, guys, you can see, let me bring the PDF also. Let me keep the PDF open. Which means the bot is able to successfully read this document till this point. You see, sample PDF text. Yes, it is read. It was November, although it is late. All this text is extracted. But... It is extracted only till this point, which means the bot using the read PDF text activity is able to extract all the text flawlessly. Then what about the data which is in the form of an image? Like I told you, that is where our read PDF with OCR would help us with. Now, instead of a PDF text, let me come here and say, read pdf with an ocr now let us again indicate the file which we are trying to use for our automation it is in the test pdf and this is my pdf file okay now after you locate the file it is asking you to select an ocr engine isn't it what is ocr ocr means optical character recognition it will be able to read the characters which are present inside a document, especially if it is scanned. So, UiPath is providing us with a various set of OCR engines. For this demo, let us use a Tesseract OCR. So, you can, all you have to just do is drag and drop in the Tesseract OCR and you will be able to find some options here for the read PDF text with OCR as well. Now, the, the beauty, the beauty here is, 
you don't really have to read all the pages say suppose my requirement is i just want to read the fourth page or the seventh page of the document or if i want to read only second to fifth page all these requirements can be embedded within the range property by default it is all which means the bot would read all the pages of the document but if you would want to specify the range you could always do it here now whatever is the output of this i would want to save it here same procedure again hit on control k now let us say output and let us name it ocr okay now like i said you should be able to find some variable here which is created and it is of a string format and let us take a message box and now let us try to print the ocr output which is in the variable output ocr and before we run the workflow let us rename our activities so this message box is going to print us the output of read pdf text and we are trying to read pdf with ocr this is sufficient to understand so i don't really think we'll have to rename it and this message box is printing us read pdf with ocr output okay now let us quickly run our workflow and see what the difference is come here head on run file and do you did you observe something i'm not keeping the pdf open guys which means the pdf is a self contained activity they they are called self containers which means you do not really have to keep the document open when the bot is running okay so this is the message box with read pdf text like we already saw let me keep the pdf also open now like we already saw it has extracted the data only till this point now let us hit on okay and let us see what read pdf with ocr is doing for us we see that it is taking a lot of time because it depends upon the quality of the image optical character recognition is trying to extract all of this data which is present in the form of an image as you see now you can see that the entire text is extracted sample text and pdf you could see that all of the text is extracted plus the data which is in the form of the image so see lauren ipsum dollar shirt i mean i do not even know if i'm pronouncing it right but you see all of this is extracted flawlessly yeah so that is the difference between a pdf with text activity and reading the pdf with uh, using the ocrs okay i hope you enjoyed the demo and in the following videos we will see how do you extract some specific elements from the pdf so stay tuned if you like this video please hit on like and subscribe for my other video notification thank you